A new study reveals that a tiny fish in the Amazon is able to survive piranha bites. Here's how. The three-striped cory, a small catfish, is able to survive multiple bites from the piranhas completely unfazed. The secret lies inside its specialized scales. Scientists found that these fish are able to survive piranha bites due to the collagen in their unique scales. Just as collagen is the main protein that protects these fish, collagen is also possibly the most important protein inside us humans. Collagen is the main protein we need to combat aging, enjoy peak energy, and strengthen our nails and hair. Increasing your collagen intake is the best way to combat aging and appear more youthful. That's why I highly recommend taking at least one scoop of collagen a day. This product contains research-backed ingredients that promote anti-aging quickly and effectively. Get my favorite multi-collagen for 51% off today by going to agelesshealthwithsteve.com or by visiting the link below. are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. Hi, Steve here. Over 2,000 years ago, the early church learned something that the church today better relearn fast. For those that don't, they'll perish. First of all, you need to understand that not all conservatives are Christians. Christians may be conservative, as labeled by the political pundits, but if they're truly Christians, they are followers of Christ, period. Most people today, even in the church, don't even know what a true Christian is. And this is why it's so easy to deceive God's people. Many believers in America are as much like people in the world without any clear difference. We have never had a leader in politics who is truly a Christian. It's clear we don't have that many leaders who really are true Christians in the church. We make excuses for people that we want to believe or trying to do the right thing most of the time, like President Trump did. Most Christians supported the Bushes while they were in the White House. Many supported Clinton and Obama, and a large majority supported Donald Trump. But why? Because in many ways, he represented a level of patriotism and appeared to be against many things that Christians are against, like abortion. But in reality, he did not stand against many things that Christians are completely against. I had a lot of people accuse me of being a Trump lover, whatever that means. I guess that means that you think the guy is wonderful no matter what he does. Well, I don't think that. I've never thought that. That was not true. But I have to admit, I had a lot of hope that he would make a change for the better in our nation. He didn't. In fact, when you look at all of the things around us, you realize he didn't really change anything. And as soon as Biden got in, the policies and practices of the Obama administration were quickly reinserted and reactivated at warp speed. Just like Trump's vaccination distribution started at warp speed. What we've been witnessing over the last 25...